What is up, YouTube world? I'm Ashley D. Before I get started, please go ahead, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, feel free to share this video as well. Now, this video is for my chosen ones. And by that, I mean the people that are willing to step out on a limb, the people that are willing to apply pressure in their lives, even when they're scared to, or they're unsure about the change. The people that know they want something great. They want something different, but they just don't know where to start. This message is for you. And I'm doing it tonight. So when you wake up in the morning, hopefully your Friday goes well. Hopefully your day at work will be peaceful. Your journey on your new start will go as planned. And you start your weekend manifesting. You, If you have not put your sticky notes up, please do so Friday. Tomorrow is light the candles. Tomorrow is soothe yourself down and enjoy your weekend. You're going to attach yourself away from TV. If you feel it necessary to look on your phone, look at something that's funny, some type of comedy, something that feeds your soul in a positive way. You can even look at inspirational videos, something that's feeding and resonating into your soul, something encouraging. In life, you guys, in order to be the best you, not only we have to detach ourselves from people, places, or things, but we also have to attach ourselves as well away from, sorry about that. <laughs> we also have to attach ourselves away from the things we watch. A lot of the things we watch, it feeds our soul just as much as the people do because we don't be around those people every day. However, when we pick up the phone, when we're watching something that's always drama, chaotic, toxic, don't think for a second that that's not resonating into your soul, that that's not connecting with you. Yes, that's not becoming a part of you. You can be upset by just listening to a song or it's getting hot in here. How do you think all those songs have you feeling some sort of way? That's because it's resonating with your soul. And it's becoming as one with you. So that's why I wanted to leave this brief message for you tonight. Just so when you wake up in the morning, you have a fresh recharge start. You have a good day at work and you know that change is on its way. And even if you're taking baby steps, even if you started in the room, you took three things out of that closet or you took two things downstairs. That's a start, sis. That's why I showed you a picture of just a little part of my house in the corner. I'm a candle person. I like to soothe myself and calm myself down, even if I'm not lighting candles every day. And that I do not do. However, my Friday and my Saturday is my wind down time for me. Now, if I'm taking a bath and I'm more of a bath person, but, you know, we take showers throughout the day because... We're not going to bathe twice a day, but we'll take a bath once a day in the shower. So when you do have just one of those days and you want to settle down and it doesn't have to be every bath, but at least light you some candles, have some wine, soothe yourself. You're recharging yourself and your energy and you're detoxing yourself away from things that no longer serves you purpose anymore. And you have to take these baby steps. Even if it's dramatic shows, chaos, TV shows, start slow. Start watching things that are motivational and uplifting. I've been going through this journey as well, trying to transition from the things that I thought was meaningful. The things at one point in time that I thought I really enjoyed watching or the people I thought I enjoy listening to or were uplifting. And you'll soon find out if you don't find out that now that people will love you only to hate you without any reason. And that's okay because those people are meant to be there to teach you a lesson. It's always a lesson or a blessing. And you have to be the one to decipher between the two. You have to be the one to determine whether or not you got everything you needed to out of that lesson or that journey that you went through with that individual people or 
anything in your life that you came across that you felt like kind of kicked you, kind of made you feel out of character, got you out of place, or people that you feel like are continuing to drain your energy or take advantage of you. You have to be the person to determine whether or not you've had enough of that. And if you truly, really want change and you're tired, you have to take that step. And that step starts with you. That step starts with you with your sticky notes. That step starts with you in the morning time, looking at what you write down and you say it to yourself. And throughout the day while you're at work, that's coming a part of your thought. That's coming a part of you transitioning your brain to even visualize something different for yourself. That's transitioning you to clean your house, unclutter certain things so you can have a free space to think. You can have a safe haven to come home. Sometimes we're all conditioned to be robots. We go to work, we come home, we eat, we sleep, we do the same thing consistently. And that can get boring. Sometimes a lot of us is scared to change out of our routines because that's what's comfortable for the, for us. But sometimes... Being too comfortable will never get you where you need to be. Being uncomfortable will get you exactly where you need to be in that moment. Uncomfortableness sometimes is just what you need to be out of that comfort zone in order to step into the new you or the greater purpose. How will you ever know who you are or who you're chosen to be if you're continuously want to be comfortable, want to be set in a routine, want to continue to do things a certain way? What will change for you? Change will not happen for you overnight if you're doing the same thing, expecting different results. That's like bumping your head continuously and you're expecting it not to hurt. So I just wanted to leave this brief message for you guys tonight to know that if you're listening to this and you listen to it through, you are definitely a chosen one. And I want you to continue to fight through, not just for you, but for your children, for your grandchildren, you're breaking generational curses as well. And that's to you should mean more than anything. You know what went on in your household. You know what continued in cycles that were dysfunctional in your home that you might not speak of or you may not want to speak of. You know the things that continue to consistently happen and you're tired of it. You know all these things. And it's up to you to change the thought pattern of not only you, but the generations to come and the ones behind you. You change your thought pattern and your mind frame will adjust to not only just you, but the people that you're closest to that love you the most. Their mind frame will adjust to yours as well. It's just a matter of time. Don't expect them to move when you do, but best believe if they love you enough and they see that your light is shining so bright, they'll want to be on the same accord with you. Why not change things for you and the generations to come behind you? Why not want something different? Best believe change is good and it's great. But you have to take that first step. And most importantly, you have to want it. If you don't want it enough, you're not going to do it. If you don't really want it and you're unsure, you're going to go back into your old routine. Because that's more comfortable for you. Because you're too scared to step out on a limb and do something that's different. You're not just doing this for you. You're doing this for everyone around you who you truly love and care about. So that starts now. The change is within you and it will come. You are the change. You are the chosen one. And you are the different and unique one. You are the one that's listening to this message that's resonating with you right now at this moment. And best believe you're going to make it happen. I believe in you. And most importantly, the most high does as well. I am Ashley D. If this message resonates with you, please feel free to share this as well. Let's spread the message out to the people that's woke and they want to change. For the people that doesn't know they're a chosen one, but they're willing to step out on a limb and take that possibility. I will be speaking to each and every one of you soon. Take care. Have a great morning. Bye for now.